So Robin told me Ooh. that NASA did um, a study on constellations, and apparently they've corrected a bunch of stuff, which has altered about 87% of people's uh, horoscopes. <laughs> it's almost like they weren't real to begin with. Do you remember when wow. they're like, actually, there should be a 13th horoscope in there, and they're yeah, like, there's a small they, they sliver of people that are, that are apparently Ophiuchuses? When yeah. are you telling me the position of the stars in ancient Greek 2,000 years ago explains why I'm anal retentive? Yeah, maybe. Because I, I was going to say this about it. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is the excellent foppery of the world that when we are sick in fortune, often the surfeit of our own behavior, we make guilty of our disasters the sun, the moon, and the stars, as if we are villains by necessity, fools by heavenly compulsion, knaves, thieves, and treacherous by spherical predominance drunkards, liars, and adulterers by enforced obedience of planetary influence and all that we are evil in by a divine thrusting on an admirable evocation, evasion of whole master man to lay his goatish disposition at the charge of a star. My father compounded with my mother under the dragon's tail. It was my nativity under Ursa Major, so it follows that I am rough and lecherous. I should have been that I am, had the maidenliest star twinkled on my firmament, twinkled on my bastardizing. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite uh, monologue from uh, King Lear. Mm. That you're saying like, um, uh, the thing. Kiefer Sutherland. No, horoscopes. Lost Boys. The Planets. <laughs> NASA. Calendar. Signs. Astrology. Astrology. That's the one. Is a load of. Hooey. Hooey. Oh. Hooey. Has anybody taken the name the bad astrologist? Mm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, Philip Philip's the bad Philip astrologist. Saucer? Yeah, <laughs> Philip Saucer. Uh, 